a thread by Soul War. One, one day until the day. November 3rd will be a historic date in world history. It will be a day that heralds the next era in human affairs on Earth, where we'll either bask in the golden glow of humanity's ascension or suffer the agonies of the damned in its fall. Will humanity rocket to the stars or explode on the launch pad? A magnificent spectacle to awe all who beheld it or a devastating disaster to chill the soul. I'm not worried in the slightest. It won't even be close. All of my indicators show President Trump has prepared well. He's going to win states no one thought possible. His stealth vote is going to be massive because Democrats and the radical left driving them have openly terrorized Trump supporters as they push insanity as policy. All aloud as Democrat governors and mayors smile and smile. They have 24 hours left to smile. Then President Trump will bask in their shock and awe. He'll give them zero grace period to realize what's about to happen. He will begin to flex immediately now that his leadership has been reaffirmed and overwhelmingly mandated. Deep blue cities are preparing for massive levels of violence. I'm preparing for massive levels of entertainment. They were warned. Stop. People are about to find out Trump wasn't engaging in hyperbole. All those federal teams were doing in Portland for months was protecting federal property. They only arrested those causing actual damage to the courthouse or those who assaulted them. That's it. This has made Antifa belligerent and stupid. They have no idea what those teams are capable of. Operation Legend is a taste of what's about to happen. When Attorney General Barr announced Operation Legend, people thought, well, that's great. I guess they'll open an office in Deep Blue City and start investigating crimes. No. Feds have been in those cities for years, identifying the worst of the worst, running and ruining America's streets, compiling crimes and charges and preparing cases before the legend team and teams even arrive. The team is there to grab the miscreants, not investigate them. I'm just talking about street criminals and gang members the Democrats deliberately refused to incarcerate to cause chaos. The effectiveness of legend is being felt almost overnight. Now, let's talk about all these Marxist terrorists we call Antifa who have been actively attacking police and other Americans for months. They too have been arrested over and over and have been released over and over. If you follow, and you know, you should, you are used to seeing the mugshots of numerous Antifa arrested during Portland's 159 nights of rioting. Except for those charged federally, rare, they are always quickly released. The ones arrested are Antifa's direct action elements. They use crowds of hundreds or even thousands to commit assaults and property destruction. Their actual numbers are tiny. The supporters are the crowd they hide within, usually dressed as alike as possible to avoid identification. This tactic has served them well. Pre Trump re-election. The feds know who they are. They've been watching, compiling, and building cases for four years. Kenosha, Wisconsin. Just after the Rittenhouse shooting, the feds chilled the violence in one day. One raid was caught 
on video. They knew exactly who was in those vehicles. Lee Van Team tweeted on August 26, Kenosha police quickly arrest Antifa terrorists in a van that was transporting weapons to out-of-state agitators. I expect unhinged people to do unhinged things tomorrow, trying to effect voter turnout, turnout as their bad news begins to build. As General Flynn posted recently, we are being inundated by forces determined to manipulate us. Stay joyful, vote, and be vigilant. On October, on October 30th, General Flynn tweeted, our media will spin a disaster scenario over the coming days. They want to crush your morale and make you believe your rightful vote doesn't count. While we have wild enthusiasm on the side of light, we hear crickets from the dark side. Your vote matters, so vote. 1 Timothy 6.12 President Trump and Attorney General Barr know this and are prepared. I expect the vile media to do their part to try and sabotage the election. I still remember Dan Rather telling Florida voters that the polls were closed during their last hour of being open in the year 2000. The AmericanConservative.com polls are closed. They lied. That was a close election. This one won't be. Need a visual? Here you go. Imagine the small stacks are mail-in and absentee ballots. And the huge stacks are in-person ballots. 80% of those in-person ballots are going to be for Trump. They can't cheat their way to victory. Back to the LARPing Marxists. Trump and Attorney General Barr have let them run amok in deep blue cities because, as the federal government, it's not their job to police states. They have only acted in places like Minneapolis and Kenosha to mitigate loss of life. But election interference? That's federal, baby. Anyone stupid enough to re attempt a repeat of the 2008 voter intimidation in Philadelphia polling places will meet those federal teams fast. Poll watchers might not be off the phone when they arrive. I want to caution everyone to be mindful and safe tomorrow. Given the state of our nation's mental health, tomorrow will be a crazy day. Let's do our utmost to make it crazy wonderful as opposed to anything else. My vote for Trump in 2016 has provided magnificent dividends my vote in 2020, will provide future Americans so much more. To support the works of Brent Cates, donate any amount at paypal.me slash Brent Cates and visit the Americana Rising Teespring store, link in the thread. I will be the greatest president that God ever created.